Hello guys, welcome to Jets TV. Uh, how you guys doing today? Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Please share the videos if you can. Uh, it's always awesome when you guys do that. Um, this is my week two video here. Uh, gonna give you my picks for the week. As usual guys, I'm gonna pick three games. Uh, two games are always gonna be teams that you know you guys wanna see. Somebody hits me in my inbox, they wanna know, hey, what do you think of my team? You know, if they're not Jets fans. And then one game, one game is always going to be the Jets. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. First game I'm going to talk about, Dallas versus Tennessee. Had a guy in the comment uh, area in my last video talk about he wanted me to talk about Dallas and who they had coming up next and kind of, you know, let, let, let him know what I thought about his team. Okay, so Dallas versus Tennessee. I got Dallas winning the game. Uh, but this, this really factors on a couple things. One, Romo needs to deliver. Okay, Romo cannot come out here and turn the ball over like he did last game. He cannot be careless with his throws. Um, DeMarco Murray has to bring it. DeMarco Murray has to run this ball. He cannot be fumbling and bumbling because this is a Tennessee team that I think is a sleeper team. And I call sleeper teams that teams that are under the radar, teams that aren't, aren't bad. They aren't great, but they aren't bad. They're just good enough to grind it out and beat you. And Tennessee is one of those teams. They have a stellar offensive line. Mike Roos is on that offensive line. Michael Orr is as well. They have a solid back, uh, running backs. Uh, B.J. Sankey. They have uh, Sean Green as well. They got Destin McCluster back there as well. Uh, the only thing I have question is their wide out position. Nate Washington, I think, is a, a, a decent second tier receiver. I think he's, he's good enough. Uh, they have a tight end in Stevens who I think is decent. But nobody that really wows you. Nobody that really just blows you off the map that makes you think, oh, I got to cover him, got to double him in a deep threat. That's the only thing I think the Tennessee's lacking at this point. Um, but their, de their defense is very solid. They have a very solid defensive line. Uh, their, their secondary is very solid as well with Michael Griffin. They have a rookie, uh, uh, Blindy Wilson, who plays pretty decent. They have McCordy on the other side at corner. They have Pollard uh, back there at safety as well. So if Dallas come out here, comes out and plays around, they could get, they could get beat. Like, don't get me wrong, they could get beat. And I, I think that if Tennessee, the keys for Tennessee to win this game is to grind it out with the run. Because Dallas' defense isn't very good. We all know that. So that's why I think that this kind of just turns into a score out. And when you have score outs, I'm going to pick Dallas because they have so many offensive weapons with Dez and Witten and uh, the, the other uh, Williams on the other side of Dez. And then you got, you know, DeMarco Murray in the backfield. They just have so much going on on offense, I think that they have to turn into a shootout to win because their defense is trash. So I, I picked Dallas, like I said, but if Dallas comes out and is careless with the football or if Tennessee creates turnovers, I could definitely see Tennessee winning this game. But once again, I'm going with the Dallas Cowboys, so I picked them. I got a Cleveland uh, Browns fan in my inbox. He said, hey, talk to me about New Orleans and Cleveland. Tell, tell me what you think we can do. And you know what? I'm picking New Orleans, and I'm going to tell you what you can do. You can lose. That's it. Uh, I don't see a scenario here where Cleveland can actually win this game unless they just go crazy on the ground, which I don't think is going to happen against New Orleans. I think New Orleans just has too much with Drew Brees and all the receivers that he's got. Especially Brandon Cooks is a very, very good receiver. Okay? He's a very good rookie receiver for the Saints, and I really wish the Jets would have drafted him. I have no clue what our problem was and why we didn't go up to get him, but... Whatever, man. Like, at the end of the day, he's with the New Orleans Saints, and he is making moves. Uh, I think he's definitely a new weapon on that offense. He can play a lot of different positions. He's a guy that I'm definitely going to look to absolutely tear Cleveland up this, this, uh, in this game. Um, just all the stuff that New Orleans has with Mark Ingram and just all, 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 that, all that they're going to do uh, to Cleveland. I just don't think that Cleveland has enough. I think Cleveland has a very nice tight end in, in, in Cameron. Um, I think that their their defense is okay, but I just again I don't think they have enough to stop New Orleans at all. I think New Orleans rose, so I picked uh, picked the Saints. So please uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Hit me in my comments. Last and final game I want to talk about here: New York Jets versus Green Bay. Everyone's been talking to me about this game this week. Everybody, hey, what do you think? What do you think? I think we're gonna take that L. <laughs> there is nothing that we can do to stop Green Bay at all. There's nothing we can do. Um, I don't think offensively, I don't see how we get Clay Matthews blocked. I don't see how we stop Julius Peppers. Um, our run game against Oakland looked okay, but they didn't have the defensive personnel that the Packers have. Um, I think if you flip it, I think on offense, it's just a nightmare for us. 
Uh, their offense is just a nightmare for us, for our defense. Uh, our, our secondary is trash. Randall Cobb, Jordy Nelson, they're going to have field days. Um, Aaron Rodgers is going to have his time back there to throw the ball. If we, we have to send blitzes to get pressure in this game, it's going to be a nightmare. Because you send blitzes to Aaron Rodgers, and he's going to he's gonna absolutely treat your defense like Swiss cheese. It's going to be holes everywhere. So I'm just looking at it like the only way I can see us coming out with a win is if we run the ball. All day, all night, control the ball, control the time of the clock, control possession, 24 hours a day. And if we can get to Aaron Rodgers with no pass rushers and put a bunch of people in coverage. And that's it. And even that, it's like we're so trash at secondary, I don't even know if that would work. Because I feel like what they'll do, which would be the smartest thing for them to do, and they could do because they have the personnel to do it, is they're going to come out five wide and just spread us out. And just make our blitzes null and void. I'm just going to spread you out. I mean, we just we can't cover anything except their tight end. That's about the only thing we can cover. But everything outside of that is just they're just they're going to roll us. They're they're going to absolutely roll us. Uh we're playing them in Lambo. This is just going to be a game where I'm just like, you know what? If we stay within 14 points, you know, we'll be I, I just I just look at it like, hey, they're just a better team at this point. So I got Green Bay winning that game. I love the Jets to death, but I'm a realist around here, okay? We just got to we gotta stay stout. We got to keep our heads uh, going. We got to stay positive, and uh, we got to fight. So that's the end of this video and my week two picks. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, share the videos if you can. I'll be back with my recap uh, after the games are said and done. Um, so thank you guys for watching, man. Go Jets, go Jets, go Jets. Peace.